What's up everyone, it's Mike from MyGadgetsWall and this video we're going to be talking about the different color depths that we have in the Xbox Series X. Also we had the same color depths for the Xbox One X but now the panels have come to a level where we have to see whether they can support 8-bit, 10-bit and 12-bit. Okay, so when we're talking about these color depths right here, uh, let me go to the video uh, fidelity and overscan. I'll actually go back for those people who don't know where to find it. So you have to go to the settings. Go, you can go settings from here in the recent or you can go here on the right extreme corner where you see your um, gamer tag. So you can go to the settings. I know all of you guys know how to go to the settings. Okay, so you go to the settings, go to the TV and display options. And then you have to go to the video, fidelity, and overscan. So once you go there, you will find out that there are different color depths. So one we have is 24 bit, which is uh, eight bit it says, right? So it's per pixel. So 24 bits per pixel, eight bit. And then we have 32 bits per pixel, 10 bit. And then we have the 36 bits per pixel, 12 bit. It is about the color spectrum. It ha It is independent of the HDR 10, um, you know, and then people talk about they are 10 bits panels. Uh, yeah, all of the HDR panels out there are 10 bits. Right now we don't have any 12 bit panels. So can we display 12 bits color on a 10 bit panel? Yes, we can do that because it has to do with the compression that happens when the TV is trying to process the signal. So if you know the chroma subsampling, so that's where the 8-bit, 10-bit, and 12-bit color spectrum is actually applied on your 10-bit panel. So I'll, I'll make sure to keep it easy because LG OLED C10 makes it so easy for us to understand this. I was actually watching a video a couple of minutes back. My friend sent it over to me. And he said that this guy is saying that LG cannot display 12-bit color on the 10-bit display. And I'm like, what? How it is possible? Really? Let, let me look into it. And um, I was already doing this video to explain the color depth, like where you should keep it. But I'm going to first make you guys, you know, see what's happening. So I'm going to press this button right here, the green one on the LG OLED C10 remote control. And you're going to see the menu popping up here. It is the free sync information. So right now we are looking at what it says. It says the 5.5 hertz. It is actually in, in factor. So it's not running it at like. 5.5 hertz it is it is the 60 hertz so it's a multiplier of 10 multiplier of uh, 20 multiplier of 40 depending on like what kind of output you have right now so variable refresh rate is there 2160p at 120 hertz and then we have the rgb 8 bit and the 4l8 so what does 4l8 means you have to multiply 8 into 4 so you will find out that that is 32 total right so that 32 is the bandwidth. So right now we are outputting RGB 8-bit color dead. And right now the HDMI cable is using 32 Gbps bandwidth from the HDMI cable from the Xbox to the LG display. And right now, why it is 8-bit? Because it's not in HDR, right? So it's 8-bit. So we're gonna see a few things when we change the color dead. So let's 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 change the color depth to let's say 10 and you're going to see this menu will reflect what changes we are making so we're going to go to 10 bit and you see that now we have the rgb 10 bit and the bandwidth has increased to 4l10 so what does 4l10 means now we are at 40 gbps utilization from the hdmi cable so we are running rgb which is you know the most you can get out of the, um, you know, when you can actually monitor to the PC, RGB actually carries more colors uh, that per pixel you have to show in the computer, right? So this is the most, you know, the uh, valuable in terms of like whenever it comes to the chroma subsampling, RGB is like superior. So RGB 10 bit, 40 gigabits per second. So now let's change it to 12 bit. Okay, so as soon as we change it to 12-bit, now we know that we have limited bandwidth. The LG OLED C10 and the Xbox cannot output, and it's not easy to do 12-bit in the um, 
for 120 hertz. So that's why we see that it switches back to where? It switches back to 10 bit. So the maximum that we can go is the 10 bit on 120 hertz, 2160p. It's really hard to push the limits where you can go to the um, 12 bits and that's gonna be 48 Gbps. But then the TV is gonna push it down itself to how much? It's gonna push it down to not RGB, it's gonna go to the YUV or you wanna call it YCBR or the chroma subsampling 422 because it cannot show you the RGB 12 bit because that's too much of the bandwidth that you need. It won't be possible. Even you can Google the uh, specification for the HDMI 2 point that how much you can push. So RGB, you cannot output at 12 bit, but you know where I'm going with this, right? So let's go. You wanna see the 12 bit? You can see it right here. I'm gonna change the refresh rate to 60 Hertz. I know things get, things get a little complicated whenever you talk about this, but it's good to know how it works. Okay, 60 Hertz. So now we can see that we have 10 bit, it's 420, and we can go in the video fidelity and over scan, we are at 10 bit and 60 hertz because 60 hertz does not require a lot of bandwidth. So now we are in the range where it is equal to the HDMI 2.0. You can do this one max with the HDMI 2.0. You can go, you can get chroma subsampling of 420, 10 bit, and uh, HDR you can you can go as YCBR 422, 10 bit. So that's the maximum you can go. But let's switch it to 12 bit and see if LG can display the 12 bit color on the 10 bit panel using the 60 hertz because 120 hertz is like just insane level for the 12 bit to display. I mean, not, not any TV can do it right now. And I'm not just saying because I have the old LG OLED C10 and LG doesn't pay me to say anything about them. I mean, I'm not even that big of a YouTuber that they will reach out to me and be like, hey, we're gonna pay you and just tell people the good stuff about LG. No, if there's something good, I'll say good. If there's something bad, it's gonna be bad. I use the LG OLED, I use the Samsung QLED TV, so I use both. I'm not like that channel where, you know, they just bash things about um, LG OLED and be like, hey, this TV has issues, even though they don't even have the TV. Some people will start saying things about Xbox Series X because they like PlayStation. Some people will say things about PlayStation because they like Xbox. So, I mean, this kind of console war and that kind of attitude you will find in people. The bias is always there. But right now, what we are talking about is what it can do, what it cannot, and we're talking about Xbox Series X, and it's hands down the best graphic output you can get. I have the PlayStation, I have the Xbox, but I'm saying Xbox Series X can do the maximum when it comes to the graphic output. And using the LG OLED C10 on it, I mean, it's a perfect match. So let's switch to the 12-bit, and I'm gonna bring that menu up again, and let's see what it says. Okay, so now you can see this is the proof that we have LG OLED C10 and it's displaying the 12 bits uh, color dead on a 10 bit panel and we have it right there. Okay, so now the question is, where should we keep it at? Like should we keep it at eight, 10, 12? So I'll just give you an example and then I'll finish this video. I just wanna make sure that you guys get the idea where you have to keep it. Keep it at eight bit and call it a day. You'll never have to change it. Your TV is smart enough to change it. Your Xbox is smart enough to change it. As soon as the Xbox will send a signal which is in 10 bit color. I'm not talking about the 10 bit display, 10 bit color, 24 bits per pixel. Your TV will switch it automatically to that particular one. And I'll show you how it is done. So let's keep it at eight bit. Okay, we're not gonna change that. And now let's just go back to any HDR game which can display, or I think we should do something like, uh, let's go 120 Hertz. And we are getting eight bit, right? So we're getting RGB eight bit and it's 32 Gbps bandwidth because four into eight, that's 32, right? I hope my math is correct. Okay, 32 Gbps bandwidth, eight bit RGB. Okay, let's play a game and see what happens to that menu which is showing up on the LG at the top right corner now. Okay, so now you see that as soon as I switch back to Gears 5, the RGB is now 10 bit and 4L10. So that's 40 Gbps bandwidth and it's full RGB 
It's using 10 bit and 40 GBPS of the HDMI bandwidth. So guys, this is the proof that you don't have to change it to 10 bits or 12 bits. Just keep it at 8 bits. 8 bits is enough for this Xbox Series X settings. If somebody is saying put it in the 10 bits, yeah, that's fine. I mean, you can do that, but your TV is always going to be displaying the 10 bit, even though there is no 10 bit color spectrum outputting on your TV. So there's going to be a little issue with the SDR content. So if you want the proper settings, just keep it at where Xbox kept it. Xbox kept it at 8 bits for a reason. Just leave it there and let your Xbox and TV do it. I know sometimes we are so smart. We want to do and play with the options, but this is it guys, don't just change it, keep it at 8 bits and let the TV do it. So that's about this video, I hope you guys got some knowledge out of it, if not, I'll try to make sure and improve myself later on to educate like how it works. But if it did help you guys, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and ask any question in the comment section, you can see all of my videos, I think I have never left a single comment that I have never replied. Even the comment where the guy is saying, hey you pronounce video as uh, Vibio. I don't know if I pronounce video as Vibio. Maybe it sounds like W and all that, but it can be that bad like that I'm calling uh, video like uh, Vibio. <laughs> okay, so I, I know some people are there. They just want to make fun or, you know, have fun. It's fine. I mean, who, who doesn't want to have fun? So I'm not bothered by those kind of comments. I mean, if you want to say like that stuff, you have it in your heart, say it out. Don't keep anything in your heart. And I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out.